Welcome back folks to a brand new video. There's a good reason why France remains the most visited country in the world. From fairy tale castles, white sandy beaches, to even the alpine ski resorts. But in this video, we're going to focus on the picturesque cities. So let's take a look at 10 beautiful cities to visit in France. Number 1. Paris One of those destinations that must be visited at least once. And also one of the world's iconic cities. The French capital firmly belongs at the top of this list. You could spend an entire week in Paris, exploring the historic streets, the Eiffel Tower and even the Louvre. But I recommend you take a boat trip down the river's end exploring the city in a completely different way. You'll be shocked by the sheer number of historic monuments and art galleries. But in the year 2024, you're going to see the Olympics. Probably the prices are going to be a little bit steep, but one of the best experiences that you'll ever have. Number 2. Lyon Paris, Nice, Bordeaux, the D-Day beaches. These are what people think of when they're planning a trip to France. But Lyon rarely makes the list. You see, Lyon enjoys the mantle of the gastronomic capital of the world. There are more restaurants per head in this city than any other in France which is just crazy. The country's third largest city is also home to a whopping 21 Michelin star restaurants. But other highlights here are its Roman roots, which are visible in the magnificent Le Theatre Antique de Fourvière, which once seated up to 10,000 spectators. Also, you'll find the Jean-Baptiste Cathedral. Number three, and see. Now Venice tops many travel lists, and for good reason. But the sky-high visitor numbers is becoming an ever more important issue, not just for Italy, but for the sake of sustainable tourism. But if you want to give Venice a break, consider a trip to Annecy in France instead. It sits against a backdrop of the Alps, which peaks over the roofs of colourful 16th century houses that line the canals. I suggest you visit in the summer. It's busier, but there's still plenty of room to enjoy. You can hire a small boat and soak up the uninterrupted views. No elbow jostling or tiptoeing around everyone, just perfect relaxation. A really, really wonderful city. Number 4. Bordeaux Now this is easily one of my favourite cities in France, uh, mainly because it's such a cheap flight from Heathrow. A charming city in southwestern France, and it is perfect for a weekend getaway. It's known for its beautiful architecture, delicious cuisine, and of course, the world-renowned wine. 
but I think you should take a stroll around the city's charming old town. And for me, that is where you will marvel at some of the most stunning buildings. And just like Lyon, it's another foodie destination. And whether you're in the mood for fresh seafood or a juicy steak, you'll find plenty of options here. And the beauty of visiting Bordeaux is that you're only an hour's train ride away from visiting Arcachon. For those of you in search of a beach and some sea. Number five, Nice. Stretched along the shores of the sun-kissed Côte d'Azur, Nice should definitely be on your list and is easily one of the most beautiful cities in France. It does feel sometimes like it's Italy in certain areas, given that it's only 15 miles from the border. But the highlight I would say would be visiting the colourful old town, where you can walk around, getting lost, admiring all the shops, antiques, and of course, trying the freshest seafood. And after a few days of sampling Nice, you should definitely check out Ez, which is a beautiful hilltop medieval village. Very close between Monaco and Nice, and it's famous for its spectacular views. Walking the narrow streets of this town is like being transported back to the Middle Ages. So be prepared to walk up a hill quite a lot. Number 6. Strasbourg if you want to step back in time while diving into the unique blend of cultures, then few cities around beat Strasbourg. Situated in the Alsace region, the 2000 year old city is one of the most unique places to visit in France, and I don't mean just for the Christmas markets. Its proximity to the French-German border has seen it change hands many times over the centuries. With black and white half-timbered houses from the 16th century, it's really nice to walk around and admire. When you're there, it's also the gateway to other places in the Alsace region, so give it a try. And if you do want to watch Strasbourg in the Christmassy environment, then I have a video in the playlist just for that. Number seven, Rouen. Now few cities in France fizz with quite as much history as Rouen. As one of the most important cities in medieval Europe, it has a turbulent past. In fact, it's the site of Joan of Arc's untimely end, and much of this history can still be seen in the city today. And the bonus is it kind of makes it a living, breathing museum on the banks of the River Seine. And while it's not quite as influential on the European stage as it once was, this modern day city is still one of the best to visit in France. Number 8. Aix-en-Provence Another place in southern France. Vibrant open air markets, bustling outdoor cafes, and plenty of fountains that line the public squares. As in most towns in Provence, the ambience here is slow paced and relaxing, with long strolls along graceful tree lined streets. So, the top 
attractions here would be the Old Town and the lovely tree lined avenue with many sidewalk cafes and restaurants. So this particular location is just for a holiday. There's no specific attractions that you need to see. It's just to take your time, relax and really feel that French vibe. Number nine, Marseille. Now, what better way to begin the trip than down on the beautiful Mediterranean coast in the port of Marseille? Dating back to 600 BC, officially the oldest city in France. But in fact, its colorful past has helped to make it what it is today. You can discover the tiny hints of city life as an ancient Greek port. That's if you look hard enough. But despite its checkered reputation, Marseille has enjoyed something of a cultural renaissance, I think, especially over this decade. And these days, it's definitely one of the most interesting cities in France. So highlights here would be to visit Le Panier and the palace with its wonderful garden and old port. And the bonus is, you're not so far away from the coastline of Kelong, which is to the south of the city and well worth a day trip. And finally, number 10, Avignon. Known as the Catholic Church's capital for some time during the Middle Ages, Avignon is one of the very best cities in France to visit due to its long and rich history. The shops, the structures and the colossal palace that the popes built during the 14th century are an absolute must-see, especially if you're interested in the development of the city. But if you're lucky enough to visit in July, you will experience the bustling crowds, especially with the different events and art festivals that happen throughout the season. And there you have it folks, those are my 10 of the best cities to visit in France. Most of them are in the south of France, it's not my fault, I didn't put them there. But for other destinations, small towns etc, villages, you can check them out because there's plenty in the playlist. That's it from me, thanks for watching, thanks for supporting the channel. And where am I now? I'm in Nuremberg. See you all on the next one. As always, be good, be kind, be careful, peace!